In a previous video, I showed you how to derive the kinematic equations. And in this video, I will show you how to apply them to problem solving in one dimensional motion. So first, let's write down those kinematic equations again. And so we have V final equals V initial plus A T. We have V final squared equals V initial squared plus 2A delta X. And then the last one we have is X final equals X initial plus V initial T plus 1 half AT squared. Okay, so those are our three kinematic equations, and now let's set up an example problem. Uh, so let's say that you have a car, and here you'll see my expert drawing skills. Okay, so here's your car. And let's say that it has an initial velocity of 26.88 meters per second. And this is about 60 miles per hour for people using American units. And just from a quick Google search, the average stopping distance for a car um, moving at this speed is about 133 feet, uh, which is about 40.54 meters. Okay. <clears throat> So given this initial problem, I want to figure out how much acceleration the car is experiencing if it's going from this initial velocity to uh, a final velocity of zero because it's stopping. If it takes 40 meters to come to a complete stop. So what we want is the acceleration, okay? So let's solve this on, well, I guess on this first, before we go to a new page, let's pick the kinematic equation that we want to use to solve this, okay? So just looking at our list of variables and what we want to solve, we've got an initial velocity, we've got a final velocity, we have a delta x and we want to find the acceleration. So I think we should use this equation. Now the other two equations have time, so we could solve for time and then plug that into the other equation to find the acceleration, but that's extra work that we don't have to do. Okay, so we'll use this equation. Vf squared equals V initial squared plus 2A delta X. Okay, and we said we wanted to solve for the acceleration, so let's isolate that variable first. So I subtracted the initial velocity to the other side. And now I'm going to divide by 2 times delta x. Okay, now we've solved for acceleration. Now we can plug in the values that you were given in the beginning of the problem. So V final was zero. 
the initial velocity is 26.88 meters per second squared, two times delta x, which was 40.54 meters. Okay, and then when you plug that into your calculator, you get negative 8.91 meters per second squared. <clears throat> and I haven't been carrying the units or being super careful, but let's do them over on the side now. So the Top of my fraction will have units of meters per second squared. The bottom will have units of meter. So that's meters squared over second squared divided by meters. So one of those meters cancel and you're left with meter per second squared, which is the correct unit for acceleration. So that's good. And now what this negative sign is telling us for the acceleration is that the acceleration is in the, well, I guess we've defined uh, our V initial was this direction. And we said that that was positive. So this minus sign is just telling you that the vector for the acceleration is pointing in the opposite direction. This has been a Dr. Strassbau lecture. Keep the credentials. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications.